When Show Advanced Tools are selected in the Advanced Preferences pane, you can use markers to tag different parts of the project and quickly select parts for playback, arranging, and editing. Markers can help organize your project and they are used to label bar positions or parts of the project and their length, text, and color can be edited freely. There are several different ways to create and edit markers in Logic. You can view and edit your markers in the marker track. So if I hit G up here, get to my global tracks, here's my marker track. I'm going to configure my global track, so option G, and I just want to see the marker. So I'm gonna get rid of everything else. Click away from that. So now I have my global marker track and nothing else. And also in my list over here, I have a marker list. And I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller. So I'm just seeing about that much. Now the marker list and the global marker track are directly related. They work hand in hand. As I start to create markers here, you'll see them populate here and I can edit in both places. So let's talk about creating markers. Now you can add markers at any position in your project. They can be rounded to the nearest quarter note, uh, to the nearest bar, or not rounded at all. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna click over here to bring my key focus back over to the tracks area. And I want to uh, zoom so I can see the beats in between my bars. So now I can see the bars and all of the beats in between the bars, beat two, beat three, beat four, to the next bar. So the easiest way to create a marker that's rounded to the nearest quarter note is to use the pencil tool. So with the pencil tool, anywhere I click, let's say for instance, I click here between uh, beats three and beats four, but I'm gonna be closer to beat four. When I click on the marker track, it creates a marker at bar one, beat four. And when you create a marker, the marker extends to the next marker, if there's another marker in the project, or all the way to the end of the project. And in this case, if I zoom back out, let me just hit Z here, and I'm gonna close out my list so you can see. This marker just extends all the way to the end of the project here, because there are no other markers in the project. Now, if I uh, zoom back in, and let's say create another marker here, now this marker bumps up to the beginning of this marker and marker two goes all the way to the end of the project. Okay, let me undo those markers. Now let's uh, look at how we can add a rounded marker to the nearest bar. So I'm gonna zoom out again so I can see the measures here. I'm gonna zoom in quite as far. And this is gonna be based on where my playhead is. So I'm gonna put my playhead in between bars four and five, but closer to bar five. So if I wanna create a marker that's rounded to the nearest bar, I'm gonna use the shortcut option and the apostrophe. So even though my playhead is here, the marker went to bar five because the playhead is closer to bar five. If I move my playhead closer to bar four and did the same thing, it will create a marker rounded to bar four, which is closer to the playhead at this point. Sometimes, depending on what kind of project you're working on, you don't want your markers rounded to a musical value at all. You just want them to be placed right at your playhead. So let's say I put my playhead here um, in between beats, and it's kind of on a division here. Let me zoom out a little bit more. I put it here in between two divisions also. And I want a marker right there. The shortcut is Control, Option, Apostrophe and it puts the marker exactly where your playhead is without any rounding. Now, I can also do that a couple of other ways. If I put my cursor here, I can go here to the global marker track and this plus button right here will create the marker exactly where the playhead is, okay? Let me get rid of all these markers I just created. Command Z, and I'm going to click in the background and hit Z so I can see all my regions here. And there's another way you can create markers. You can create markers based on the selected region. So if I select a region and I use the shortcut shift option apostrophe, it would create a marker the exact same length as the selected region and it will name the marker based on the selected region. So if I click on this and uh, shift option apostrophe, I'll get another marker. Shift option apostrophe, just like that. I'm just making markers.